We have continuing coverage for you tonight on the long battle be between law enforcement and game rooms, specifically game rooms that are breaking the law. Yeah, that's right. As legalities are continuously being discussed and debated following a recent bust here in Corpus Christi, today I checked in with neighboring cities like Bishop. We got an update on the situation over there, and the chief of police says they are actively investigating some cases after residents expressed their concerns over illegal operations. We have our own concerns within law enforcement because when they're paying out, it's illegal. If they're not paying out, they're not going to have customers. So the business model itself, you know, almost suggests that they're they're conducting illegal activity. You might recall our report on seven game rooms police raided in the city of Bishop. Operations for those businesses along Highway 77 were shut down as part of an ongoing criminal investigation. The chief of police, Edward Day, said the investigation spanned for several months. We have a pretty complex city ordinance to regulate these establishments, and none of those businesses were in compliance with those. So we went ahead and issued citations, fines. In total, 208 illegal gaming machines were found and two arrests were made. Some of the security personnel that were on scene were not licensed and they were carrying firearms. So we did make some arrests um, due to those violations. Since then, Chief Day told us four of the seven game rooms are currently open. But as they remain in operation, law enforcement is keeping a watchful eye. Chief Day says it may seem like all fun and games in some establishments establishments, but participating with others could be like rolling the dice. These are oftentimes criminal enterprises being operated by the same folks that are doing other criminal activities such as selling drugs and, and other vice crimes. Um, so it's not like going and playing bingo. Bingo is highly regulated. He adds residents have expressed their concerns about some game rooms. Day said they are working to address any problems that may arise. We have to investigate and it takes you know, a long time for us to get the elements that we need to prove a criminal case in order to serve a search warrant, in order to make arrests. Um, so sometimes it may look like nothing's being done, even though it's investigations that are going on uh, behind the scenes.